Article number 14 is a non-binding article. We're just talking tonight. Move that the town support the purchasing of land in North Hadley area to construct a fire station. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion and seconded. Yes, sir. Okay, this article is a non-binding, is Mr. Delisle, yeah, Mr. Delisle, Mr. Devine <laughs> has just said. Um, we put it on the, the warrant so that we could uh, gauge public opinion about the possible purchase of land in North Hadley for a uh, fire department substation. And along the lines, um, we were thinking also if land should become available, that would um, be beyond what we need and somebody offers more than what we need, we would also consider other uses. But um, at this time, the other reason for this is to just generate some discussion tonight if you so uh, are willing to do so or if you have any questions. The, uh, we are hoping an answer tonight would also help us direct where we want to go with all of this. The, uh, the chief has given us um, some pretty good reasons why we would want to maintain a, a substation in uh, North Hadley. Um, we, during our investigation of the buildings, we found that the, uh, the fire station is inadequate. It's not large enough for the trucks that are currently being housed there or, or for future trucks, actually, because there are a number of trucks that would possibly be moving up to North Hadley and major work would have to be done to make that happen. Um, and one of the other things that we have discovered during our meetings is if you look around town and we're looking at some of the buildings that we do own, there's not a whole lot of room to expand. There is very little property except for maybe towards the, uh, the senior center. Um, but there's some space there. So we're hoping that if tonight you do say yes, um, this would just encourage us to go forward with a, an RFP, a request for proposal. So we'd be investigating possible land in North Hadley for the North Hadley Fire Station and any other possible uses. If you say no tonight, and it's, uh, then it would make us reconsider where we want to go in the future. Um, but we do ask you to support um, this, um, this idea because um, we are trying to uh, plan for the future, and right now we need to do something um, to do so. Mr. Matusko, you've got a lot of land for sale? Uh, it's all ADR. <laughs> Thank uh, you, sir. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear that this is just a non-binding question. Uh, it's really ambiguous to ask us to vote for land in somewhere in North Hadley to construct a fire station. Without more information, I can't support this. But I'm glad to hear that is just so that you can get a gauge and feeling, so that you can get on. If, as long as there aren't any strings attached, so that if something happens a year from now, someone can say, oh, at the special town meeting, you guys gave us permission. So I'm, that won't happen, correct? Uh, just to respond to that. Um, but I forgot to add about this whole thing. Um, once we investigate what land is possible out there, we do have to bring it back to town meeting and the town gets to vote on it. By then we will know how much it'll cost, how much acreage is involved, that kind of thing. Thank you. Mr. Moder, planning for the future, um, this substation would have to be manned, I assume. So do we have a rough estimate of increased personnel? No increased personnel would be expected? This is just to replace what currently is in North Hadley, so it would be run the same way as a part-time fire department. Oh. John Michkowski. I thought this ar article was going to also include other municipal uses, and I fully support the fire department and their endeavors. And for future planning, I think the building committee should, should really get a round of uh, applause because they put a lot of hard hours in it. And I think it's about time that this community start looking, not in a five year, 20, 30 year projection. And that's what, what tracked her on. 
And as I mentioned, uh, we would consider other possible uses depending on what land's available out there, but right now we are probably asking for maybe a four acre parcel, but if somebody comes forward with 14 acres or 20 acres, then we would consider that if, if the town needs it. Or we would just look at purchasing what we need at the time. Would you like to take a motion? I'd like to make a motion. Uh, we apologize, the, uh, the scripts got mixed up a little bit and the moderator didn't get the correct script for this motion. The motion, I'd like to modify and amend the motion by saying that this is a non-binding question that will be, that will help the building, oh wait, sorry. The, the move to the town support purchasing land in North Alley area to construct a fire station or other municipal building. Is there a second on the motion? Further discussion regarding the motion? All those in favor of the motion being accepted, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes. We will now be discussing the motion to include other, other municipal buildings. Thank you. Jim Maximoski, Jim Maximoski 12 Norwater Drive, is a Fire station required in North Hadley, or is the center one of Hadley adequate by, by I don't know if I want to call it a code or by regulation? I will defer to the fire chief. Excuse me. Michael Spain, Able 52 Bay Road, also fire chief for the town of Hadley. Uh, there is no code or mandate for a North Hadley fire station. However, you right now have a North Hadley fire station that was uh, converted in the North Hadley, uh, historical North Hadley Hall 50 years ago. Uh, it's my opinion as the fire chief, I look at it from a fire protection standpoint. Um, and I can tell you I'm very concerned if we eliminate that, that station in North Hadley for response to uh, the ever growing North Hadley area. So no, it's not mandated, however, it is very, it's very critical that we keep that North Hadley station there to protect our North Hadley folks. Paulette Kazdeba, 40 Knightley Road. Um, my question is, I'm not opposed to us going out for an RFP for land. However, I would ask that the RFP did not include current APR land because I understand that there is the possibility that if APR land is offered, you could go before the state legislature and ask that that land be removed from APR. And as a member of the Conservation Commission, I am deeply opposed to removing any land from APR because that sets a bad precedence. Can you assume there'll be a public hearing before the RFP would go out? Maureen Jock, uh, 20 Knightley Road, Hadley. Um, can you tell me for uh, the ballpark on Huntington Road that's owned by the town, is that correct? That's correct. And do we have any plans for the future use of that land? That's nothing that we are discussing because we are just strictly dealing with the buildings at this point. Which doesn't mean that it's off the table. But we are looking for land to buy versus land that we already have. Is that correct? Currently we haven't decided that, that would be a big enough property for what we're planning to use it for or what we need, what our needs are. Okay, I was just wondering. Jerome Uzerski, Stockbridge Road. Yes. Within the past 10 years or so, I believe there's been about six dwellings in North Hadley that have been safe because of the fast response of having a truck in North Hadley. We know the population, a lot of the population in town is up in North Hadley. So it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to have the trucks with no truck or a fast response truck up in North Hadley versus having nothing to have a truck coming here from the center of town up to North Hadley. Um, this was the men in North Hadley, as the chief said, built that station. I can remember being a little kid helping you know, 50 years ago and it was started because of that. 
because there was no coverage in it being the type of department that we have. We have a fast, we can have a fast attack truck up there or two to make a quick response till the other help gets there. And it's like I say, it's been at least six dwellings I can think of offhand in the past 10 years that people still have homes to live in that were not completely destroyed. Thank you, sir. John Michkowski. <clears throat> I served on a fire department for a little bit over 20 years and I headed up the water rescue for 20 years. The fire department has a lot more responsibility than it's just as a house fire. There's tornadoes, there's hurricanes, and the biggest threat we have is the Connecticut River that God knows when it floods, people need to be rescued. I've been on those excursions many a time. And again, to get your best coverage, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. And what they're trying to do is cover the entire town. Mike Spanable, uh, 52 Bay Road. I just wanted to give you some more information. Uh, we took some time to actually run some factual numbers on response times. Uh, so basically what we did is we took out the equation of having a North Hadley fire station. So I'd like you to just understand the impact of what would happen if we did that. So uh, one of our lieutenants actually took the time to drive, drive this at a reasonable pace. So this is in the summertime with no snow on the road. Uh, not raining, uh, not at two o'clock in the morning when you're half asleep uh, with barely any clothes on because you haven't had time to put them on. So this is a very low number. So the personal vehicle response from the area of the town line, and we chose that point because the North Hadley town line at Sunderland, because some of our gentlemen live on Shattuck Road, uh, some of them live on Cummins Road, some of them live actually on River Drive. So we kind of averaged it out and felt that was a good space. So the time for them to respond uh, from that far point was eight minutes and 39 seconds to center station. Uh, that doesn't include getting up and trying to put something on. Uh, when you get to the station, you have to put your turnout gear on. The recommended NFPA standard for a firefighter to put their gear on is one minute. Uh, engine response time. Uh, to, to the end of Shattuck Road. So we, we have seen a number of, we, we've seen at least one major fire on Shattuck Road, Kennedy Drive, um, Huntington Road, we had a fatal fire. So all those are areas that are the responsibility of North Hadley Fire Station. It's a 10 minute and 57 second response time for them to get from Center Station up to that area. So your total time lap elapsed for that is 20 minutes and 36 seconds. That's not taking into account all those other factors I told you about. If fire doubles every minute, you can imagine what we're going to be coming upon if we do that. So we then took, uh, we, we picked a location of a potential site of a new fire station. So personnel vehicle from the same spot at North, in North Hadley at the Sunderland town line or about that point was now two minutes and 47 seconds. One minute to put your turnout gear on, and four minutes and 54 seconds back to that same spot for eight minutes and 41 seconds. The NFPA standard, uh, National Fire Protection Association standard 1720 for a call force fire department is 14 minutes or under for 80% of your calls. And I can tell you it's not just for structure fires, it's for motor vehicle accidents when somebody's wrapped around a tree. It's for a medical call when somebody's heart stops beating and we're getting there to pump on your chest. And put a defib on you so that we can shock your heart back to life. So there's a lot of other things other than just structure fires. So I just wanted you to understand those response times if we lose that North Hadley station. I just want to verify, Mike, isn't the North Hadley station also a second command station if something goes wrong with our station in the center of town. Can you explain that to them also, the equipment we have there? Currently, right now, in our operations plan, uh, in our emergency management plan, that is to be used as a second operation center in the event that the center station is rendered unusable. For example, a hurricane or a flood. We're actually in the flood plain at center station. Um, 
so yes, our plan is to actually set up shop up there if needed and use portable radios for, for response. Um, and again, we don't like to put all our eggs in one basket. We like to have equipment spread out. So if you have a tragedy like you had in Springfield, you see the devastation that can occur. What do you do if your fire station is in that path of destruction? So uh, we think it's extremely important that we have, we have uh, more than just one location to uh, provide safety for everyone. Uh, Paul Ragish, 19 Meadow Street. Um, 63 acres just went for sale, up for sale at, on uh, North Maple. I'm thinking, we keep talking about North Hadley, and my house in Meadow Street is almost right across from the fire station, but thinking of the future, North Maple, you still can shoot right up that and get to North Hadley super easy, and then 99% of your calls are on Route 9 at the malls. It seems like that's, that's the perfect place right there, happy medium, you can shoot the North Hadley, you can shoot the Route 9 super quick. Moderator, I call for question. Question has been called. Is there a second? second. Motion is seconded. All those in favor of calling the question, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes. Okay. All those in favor of a non binding motion? It's in support of the non binding motion. Please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Non-minding motion passes unanimously. Thank you. 